the vintage henry began to walk rapidly and perceived with great delight that every step brought him nearer to the summit of the mountain in three hours he had walked two-thirds of the way but suddenly he found himself arrested by a very high wall which he had not perceived before he walked around it and found after three days diligent advance that this wall surrounded the entire mountain and that there was no door not the smallest opening by which he could enter henry seated himself on the ground to reflect upon his situation he resolved to wait patiently he sat there forty-five days at the end of this time he said i will not go back if i have to wait here a hundred years he had scarcely uttered these words when a part of the wall crumbled away with a terrible noise and he saw in the opening a giant brandishing an enormous cudgel you have then a great desire to pass here my boy what are you seeking beyond my wall i am seeking the plant of life master giant to cure my poor mother who is dying if it is in your power and you will allow me to pass this wall i will do anything for you that you may command is it so well listen your countenance pleases me i am one of the genii of this mountain i will allow you to pass this wall if you will fill my wine cellar here are all my vines gather the grapes crush them put the juice in the casks and arrange them well in my wine cellar you will find all the implements necessary at the foot of this wall when it is done call me the giant disappeared closing the wall behind him henry looked around him and as far as he could see the vines of the giant were growing luxuriously well well said henry to himself i cut all the weed of the little old man i can surely also gather the grapes of the big giant it will not take me so long and it will not be as difficult to make wine of these grapes as to make bread of the wheat henry took off his coat picked up a pruning knife which he saw at his feet and began to cut the grapes and throw them into the vats it took him thirty days to gather this crop when all was finished he crushed the grapes poured the juice into the casks and ranged them in the cellar which they completely filled he was ninety days making the wine when the wine was ready and everything in the cellar in complete order henry called the giant who immediately appeared examined the casks tasted the wine then turned towards henry and said you are a brave little man and i wish to pay you for your trouble it shall not be said that you worked gratis for the giant of the mountain he drew a thistle from his pocket gave it to henry and said after your return home whenever you desire anything smell this thistle henry did not think the giant very generous but he received the thistle with an amiable smile then the giant whistled so loudly that the mountain trembled and the wall and giant disappeared entirely and henry was enabled to continue his journey